Hey, so uh, I got this model from a customer who was having an issue with uh, trying to retopologize this uh, this mesh, and so I started taking a look at it. Uh, it's a basic uh, Boolean mesh, uh, but it does have some problems. So um, if we look at the the bottom, we can see it doesn't have a uh, a surface right there, which is fine. But looking into the model, you see that I have surfaces like around this uh, small part of the cylinder, which I wasn't expecting. So um, if I go into vertex mode, and uh, well, actually, let's go to edge mode. So we'll get edge mode first. And we look at the hard edges. We see that we have hard edges in areas like here that I wasn't expecting. So then I went into vertex mode and just selected a vertice here and moved it down just to see. And you can see that there are multiple surfaces. So there's a lot of multiple surfaces on this model everywhere. Uh, so it is non-manifold. And that's really uh, kind of a bad situation for the retopology algorithm. So what we need to do is, well, what I did was I just rebuilt it. Uh, so I'll just unhide the one that I modeled. And it's a basic Boolean. I uh, did basically the same thing he did. Um, but if we look at the the surfaces, we don't see any um, sur non-manifold surfaces or anything like that. Everything looks clean. If I go into edge mode here, and let's display hard edges, we get pretty much what I expect. And um, I'll select this. So I put I put a hard edge through the middle as well, just to create a little bit more symmetry. Uh, so let's try this one. So let's add a subdivide modifier. And we'll set this to adaptive. And this brings up another issue that is that if we look at some areas, like the top of this cylinder, it's not a very uniform looking mesh. You've got these little thin triangles. That just tells me that the edge length isn't long enough. Also here, we know that the this outer corner of the cylinder is a hard edge, and we know the inner uh, corner is also a hard edge. And we really don't have enough data in the middle. I always, I'd just say there's not enough meat there. So you really need to have uh, a span uh, or, or more geometry in here to, uh, to really solve properly. It doesn't like it if it doesn't have enough information in between two hard edges. So I'm just going to set this to, let's try two centimeters. Let's see what that looks like. Take a few seconds to calculate. Okay, so that should definitely give us enough information. We can see that we have a, an extra edge that's going around here. And uh, the top looks pretty uniform with the, the triangles. So let's go ahead and add a retopology. And let's set it to 5,000, probably won't be enough for this model. Let's say uh, I'd like to 15,000, I've got smoothing groups on. And just zoom out a little bit, let's compute. I'll pause this while it's simming, or solving. Okay, and that took 75 seconds, which is um, a little bit longer than expected. I think that the, the recording software I have actually slows it down a little bit. But we have a clean mesh, uh, no problems. So I hope you got something from it. And if you have any other problems, let me know. Thanks.